We should think of disruptive changes. We should never think of progress as linear, whether it's in Asia or globally. And we should expect shocks from time to time. Uh, the geopolitics is obvious enough. Terrorism is now a fact of life. Uh, it's here with us in Southeast Asia, and it is global, and it'll be here for a long time to come. The economics itself is, uh, I think, one which now allows for a lot more discontinuity than used to be thought, whether it's in China or the emerging markets as a whole. Uh, there's a wider range of possibilities that could emerge. But I think the way we have to think about it in politics and in policy making is how we can be as resilient as possible when the unthinkable happens, how we can be robust to a range of options, a range of outcomes. That's the way we have to think about it. We don't sit and wait to see what happens and feel we're unlucky when something bad happens. We've got to just prepare ourselves to be resilient. And it means being resilient in the nature of our society so that if you get a terrorist incident, you don't, you don't get a divided society, you don't get people who are suspicious of each other, but you get a coalescing. And in our case, it's a coalescing of, around what it means to be Singaporean. And if we don't prepare ourselves in advance for that possibility, you're more likely to see division. So what we do now shapes what happens when the unthinkable happens. We are not powerless.